Don't worry, I'll put it in the form. I know you will. Good man. So here's our finished, finished. <laughs> whatever stepped off. Step off, little porch step off. What do you call this? A porch. Just a pad. Like porch a pad. pad, there you go. Front door pad. We still gotta come with the walkway. We'll move all this junk off. And the walkway is gonna go out that way. There's my best helper. Other best helper. Well, here I am today with our guest Joshua, also known as the new slave on the farm. <laughs> no, he's helping us greatly and I appreciate it. And Thomas. And the other day, the three of us put this step off in and we used all the cement we owned and was available and so today we're going to form this up and tomorrow we're going to go get more cement uh, after we form all this up and um, get some rebar for this we'll have a nice walkway into the house there's my excellent help there say the least that is the entire work crew right there he's awesome Ooh. and this is where we're at today let it focus got that done moving on to this let me come out the other direction okay well here we are probably day four or five My concrete mixer's bearing went out, and I just can't mix, and Tom's not willing to do it too and carry the gravel, and so we're gonna just go get another bearing. So here I am with Joshua, walking behind me, there goes Joshua. And we are going to replace the bearings for this cement mixer and let me show you the cement mixer because it's not readily apparent how to get the bearings out so there's the cement mixer bearings go in this side and they also come in from the inside okay there's the inside there's a bearing that goes there and there's a bearing that goes on the outside so there's two bearings so here Joshua is he is going to make a gasket that goes for this cap here so from the inside of the tank you have the cap that goes first followed by this little cap that goes over the end and this ring here which holds that ring right there it holds the bearing in place okay a spacer between the two bearings the bearing on the outside of the mixer oops I messed them up this one and then a clip ring and we have the clip ring little tool which is of course necessary these bearings are sealed uh, which is I don't like so much um, the old bearings were sealed too you can see how that one turned out here's the other old bearing you see how that one turned out I, you can actually see down in there it's, there's no seal on there so I, I really don't like sealed bearings but my trusty assistant and I have decided that we're gonna pack the hell out of this bearing this whole assembly to be able to, to, to make it last. I was really kind of befuddled about how to get it out of there because usually I'm used to seeing you pull the cap and there's a castle nut with a, a, a cotter pin on it. You pull the cotter pin off, take the lock washer, there you go. Because I've only really worked with uh, wheel axles in the past, not really worked with anything like a mixer like that. And it read, wasn't readily apparent how to get them out of there. And then the other side to it was, is I didn't want to destroy the bearings, pull them out, because I knew I was going to have to buy these new bearings that are on this table here. So, anyways, we're going to put that back in. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I went on the internet and I looked all over the place. I couldn't find this, this how to take this out. And uh, there's all types of, uh, of um, mixers out there. And this is my mixer. So, let me show you the other side of the mixer. Here's the, the carriage assembly, the yoke for the mixer. There's an electric motor in there. Some of them have gasoline. And a bearing goes right here. And a bearing goes right here. And there's a clip ring that goes on the outside right here. So cap, smaller cap, 
ring bearing, spacer bearing, clip ring on the outside. This is just a, a, a seal that they have there to keep the water out. All right, so the key to this is uh, um, you want to get the bearing cool on it. It shrinks it, and then it slides in there easier and over the shaft easier. So this is one of our new freezers we bought, and they've been in here about, I don't know, 20 minutes. And Joshua's going to pump them over. I'll, I'll put it on there so you you got warm hands. i got a gloved cold hand. So there it is on there. Yeah. Good, 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 good. All right, I got the ring. Joshua's like he man here picking it up. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I don't think it's on yet. It's on. Okay, well, yeah, I'll wang on. it then. I'll hold it. You get the wang thing. The wang chunk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, moving. Oh, oh. Uh, we need long something to thump it. Oh, here's the other one. Just wait until we break the bearing. Yeah, okay. You want a small hammer? Yeah. Or small er hammer? Small air. Tom, stop on It's done. Mixer's done. Joshua did it all. Well, here I am with Joshua finishing it up the concrete uh, time lapse uh, video of it. Um, I wanted to show you what happened here and how it goes. You notice this video is a little bit nicer because it's shot with his GoPro 9, which really does a good job. I got to get me one of those. So, um, if any of y'all have an old GoPro lying around or want to help donate for me to do that, I would really appreciate it because my camera is about on its last little lens. So. But uh, you'll see our dog Sophie, who uh, decided that she wanted to tromps through the cement after we went in for lunch and actually dug a hole into it. And uh, fortunately, we were able to come out and repair it right after lunch. It hadn't set up enough, but uh, anyhow. Um, when you repair a mixer like this, uh, and my mixer is a Bowker. Bowkers are sold here in Chile and Argentina and Brazil and mostly South America. So. It's not readily available how to fix it. Bowker doesn't have any schematics. They don't have any suggestions and they want you to buy a new mixer. Uh, I was easily able to go buy some new ones. They were $16 for two bearings. Um, uh, the problem was is how to get them out of there and really you just we took a punch and, and knocked them out and then saved the pieces and were able to take that in and have them measured. So uh, it was it's not really readily available how do you how do you get the bearings out? So that's, that's why I'm hoping this video is helpful to somebody else that I might have a mixer. Uh, I was really expecting to be hung on there or bolted on there with a castle nut and a uh, uh, washer of some sort and a cotter pin, but it wasn't there. So we were able to get that done, get the mixer going again, pack it full of grease, hopefully done right, and uh, it'll last a good many years. So. I really appreciate Joshua's help on this. I couldn't have got there, down there and done what he's doing right here in the video. And uh, he really does nice work. And Thomas was such a joy bringing the gravel from me all the way from the road. As it was shoveling here like this, it's not good for me. And I had to take a, a good, good long bath to get over the pain from that one. But our, our walkway's done. Looks really nice. Keep the mud out of the house, the wife happy, and... Uh, and uh, just in time before the rains start coming. So thanks for watching and ciao from Chili Expat family. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and if you want to be a member of our Chili Expat group, um, which is, uh, uh, you have to be a member of our PayPal club. So go ahead and donate by PayPal and you become a member of that and you can get in the group and you can join us just like Joshua did. See Josh right there just moved to Chile with his family and he's staying with us until he can find a nice rental or a house to buy. So, ciao from Chile expat family.